Hi there, LinkedIn family. Jonathan here again from Some Talented People. And I do appreciate that I'm going on about this a little bit, about the sleeping and why we sleep. But listen, I read these books, I take the information, and I pretty much implement anything that's a good idea straight away. But I'm very conscious that in the world we live in today where you're being bombarded by information all the time it's very difficult to know exactly what to do what not to do sometimes eating this does this and sometimes eating that does that and the information comes from you from all all angles Uh, one of the things i do i've talked about it before but that's that's my phone yeah it's a a shitty little flip phone and the reason i have that is because i don't want to be chased around the world by bleeps and chirps and all the rest of the crap that comes through smartphones and social media so what i'm going to tell you now is unbelievably important so listen there are um it seems basically if you're a 16 or 17 year old you'll get pregnant whether you want to or not but for many people both men and women we're leaving our decision to have children until we're later in life because we believe that we need to have stability and financial security before we actually have children which i suppose is a good idea but there's a really serious problem because we're not sleeping so let me just read this okay So, adults that sleep six hours or less a night, as it's all the examples in this book, um, have uh, a drop in testosterone levels. And the effect of the hormone blunting is such that it ages a man by 10 to 15 years in terms of testosterone and if you're sleeping less than six hours a night you have a 29 percent lower sperm counts for women so we we've heard of folic acid and and um it's something which you take when you get pregnant but there is a um a folic or follicular releasing hormone in women um which is critical to reproduction it it occurs just prior to ovulation and they studied uh, over the past 40 years a hundred thousand employed women who work irregular hours and the effect on their um, ability to reproduce and to actually get pregnant they're 80 percent more likely to suffer issues of subfertility now the bottom line is this <clears throat> in the uk um uh what's it called you know test you babies um fertility treatments uh typically they're not anymore or they're, not, they're no longer covered by the nhs and so couples desperate for children and as i said we're leaving it later so women leave it later and and, and they think that the problem uh, is one just of age but the reality is this we are not sleeping properly and it is costing you who want to have children the opportunity to do so and it is literally costing you so i i've got a friend whose sister she uh married late and uh started trying to have a child at 45 and they went through four rounds of fertility treatment forty thousand pounds forty thousand pounds when sleeping regularly would stop the need for that so honestly you know come on sort your lives out this is so the, these effects are so great that it's it, it, it's unbelievable to me um and listen if i hadn't bought this book so much uh about ways to improve performance would have would have remained eluded to me or would have eluded me and um this this one book Uh, combines with 19 other things I know about how to get top performance and seriously uh, if you read my profile it says at the bottom obscenely expensive you know why because I'm going to make you do what you need to do to become successful and happy and healthy you it hey we know all sorts of things about what we should and shouldn't do I hope these videos are somewhat enlightening but the fact of the matter is that habits are entrenched 
they are validated by the society we live in. I, I did a post a while ago about how, oh, it's so macho, we work through the night, I only manage on four hours sleep. The whole, the whole message is frankly fucked. Um, and um, if you want to have children, if you want to reproduce, you, you need to get more sleep because both the male and the female spectrum suffers so dramatically from broken sleep that it is a fallacy that we still continue down this path. Anyway, have a nice day. Please go to bed tonight. Go to bed early. Put your phone down. And uh, uh, if you don't want a child, uh, make sure you wear protection. All right, take care. I'll see you again. Thanks a lot.